right. Okay, so obviously a lot of people still think of you or remember you as Miles. Mm. Um, coupling as a show and Steve as a character is obviously a different proposition. Was that something that you were glad about? You know? uh, I, well, yes, I was very, very glad that the haircut was different because <laughs> uh, that really was a bad haircut I had in this life. Um, yeah, well, yeah. It I was mean, of the time. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's a very different kind of format. I mean, this is this obviously being sitcom. Um, and as much as anything else, I mean, you know, yes, there are moments of kind of where they're meant to be kind of vaguely truthful in this, but, you know, well, it's basically we are the home of the world crafted knob gag. So, in that respect, you know, it's, uh, it, yes, they couldn't be more different, but. Uh, but it's kind of impossible to make comparisons, I think, really. Um, but we look very similar. Miles and Steve are almost identical. And almost like that guy in uh, The Hands of Mr. Ripley, isn't he? Him as well, except the duffel coat, because I got in the way. So, I mean, do you relate to Steve a bit more than you would to Miles? So... Or neither, no, uh, really? No, no, it's not that I don't relate to either of them. I, I, I did. Um, I think, uh, principally, the one thing... That I, I suppose I would say that I, as much as one can relate to a character in a sitcom, um, the, the you know the way that he digs himself very deep, dark, verbal holes, and then allows Susan to make them deeper, 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 <laughs> deeper and darker. Um, yeah, I mean that that certainly I recognise that that problem uh, for sure. But apart from that, um, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> Basically, you'd have to ask my wife. <laughs> Fair enough. The, um, so, have you enjoyed kind of developing the character then over a longer period? Yeah, time? it's been great. I mean, it's I've never done anything three times, um, and it <laughs> the end of my <laughs> career as we know it. Um, but you know, it's it is it is comfortable, uh, and and you know pathetic and horrible cliche thing to say but you know we do already get on and and it's fun I mean you know what we get to do on this show is really good fun so um, in terms of there being a, a strict character arc that I've been <laughs> plotting all the way through it's you know I just I stagger between knob gags really I've got a, I've got a great color coding system <laughs> um, but I'm not going to let you in on the secrets of my Karen Dash based uh, I can't believe I said Karen Dash in an interview. Anyway. Karen Dash based. Isn't yeah, it? No. yeah. So That's I, a pencil, by the way, not a psychologist. Um, or a woman in a home. Yes. Uh, hey, nice. Sorry. That was better. I should have used that. <laughs> That's it. I'm off. If you could choose, who would you have play Steve's character in the American <laughs> pilot? Well, I'd like to think that. If I was going to allow any actor onto the, frankly, sanctified ground that I feel now surrounds the mythical character of Steve Taylor, I don't know, maybe Sean Penn, Jack Nicholson if he'd like to come out of retirement, semi-retirement. Beyond that, I don't know, Tim Robbins perhaps could give it a go. I mean, I'm not sure, it's, an, it's a comedy Everest that few actors could, uh, could even get into the foothills of, but if they're, if they're available and are willing to work, um, well, for food, <laughs> uh, then I think they should have a go. But beyond that, I, I don't know. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. <laughs>